Look at these frogs in the pond. How many frogs do you see? One, two, three, four. These are the number and dot cards. This is number one with one dot. This is number two with two dots. This is number three with three dots. And here is number four with four dots. This number shows the number of frogs in the pond. Oh, there is one more frog popping out from inside the pond. We need one more dot on the card to make it five. Let's count the frogs. One, two, three, four, five. This is number five. Here are five dots. These are five dots. These are also five dots. What about now? Again, these are five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Let's look at this picture very carefully. Now we are going to circle the objects that are groups of five. Can you identify those objects? Yes, there are five shells. These are five clouds. What about these children playing in the sand? Yes, these are five children. I can also see five birds. And this is number five. How can you tell if there is one camel for each child? Since there are five children, there must be five camels for each child to ride. These are five counters. Let's put one counter on each child. Move the counter from the child to each camel to match. Mm -mm, I don't think so. There will be one child left behind. This is a kangaroo. The kangaroo hops. Let's count the hops. One, two, three, four, five. Rabbits also hop. Let's make it hop five times. One, two, three, four, five. What about frogs? One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We can also count the train whistle. One, two, three, four, five. This is a cricket. Let's count the chirping. Shh, you have to be very quiet. Let's use fingers to count. One, two, three, four, five. You did a great job counting the number five. Like, share and subscribe.